Hi everyone, it's Vivos United 2 and Port of the Real here, back for another foreign food product. And it's time for a mystery surprise for, for the package, so let's see what we have in store, guys. It's on now. Ha ha ha. Ah. Toblerone. I am very familiar with this brand. And I've never sampled this before. My name is Polton Real. Subscribe to my channel. And Thanks for the full transparency. I have sampled Toblerone before and I do love Toblerone. It's brilliant. I've never sampled this. It has been a while though for me, guys. And obviously the packaging really stands out, doesn't mm. it? It's but... very iconic. And as you can see, it's a genuine Swiss product here. So we rate the packaging and the content both out of 10. We're not sponsored like most YouTubers. I bought this for a whole pound. Great value for money. So I'm going to tell the truth with V Wilson 92. Um, in terms of the rating, I love the yellow background. I love the Swiss Alps there. Established in 1908. So it was quite a successful long history there. Toblerone, simple, bold mm. letters. And it's a global brand, isn't it? I like that diagram there. I assume mm -hmm. that's the nugget, isn't it? It, it is, yeah. With, I'm not a huge fan of nuts, but I believe it's very minimal. But... Oh, I love Toblerone, guys. I'm looking forward to sampling this. So for my rating for the packaging, I will award Toblerone an 8 out of 10 with the golden red, with the red letters. I'll award it a 7.5. It's quite reasonable. A little bit boring with the yellow background. Perhaps you could have more of the Alps in the background. Big, red, bold letters there. That's what a brand needs to do. Grip the customer's attention, ultimately. And then you've got the nutritional information there. It's in date, made in Switzerland. So it's a real, authentic product. And the reason why Toblerone stands out is because of the packaging, isn't mm -hmm. it? This is so iconic. Yeah, it is. So what do you think for the packaging final thoughts? So 8 out of 10 for me, guys. Still very reasonable. And I'm looking forward to giving this another go, guys. And it comes in three pieces, so we're going to have one each. So if you do the honest part of real, and prepare a, a sample for me to trial. V Wilson 92 will take a dry sample, but he also likes it nice and wet. As in a wet sample, I wonder. So I've never opened this before. This is so iconic. It's in a triangle shape. Oh boy, for a whole pound. This is pretty good value, I've got to say, folks. So I like the tin foil. It keeps the chocolate nice oh and fresh. Yeah. This looks really, really promising. Look at that, guys. All these triangle chocolates that you get. And as you can see, you can actually see Toblerone, the letters on the side of the ridges there. Oh, boys. I've actually noticed that before, guys, you know. Very creative there. So, Port and Real, if you do the honours for me. So, what do you think? A third each, perhaps? Yeah. So, if you break it, a part of it, and then so break I'll one for me. I'll save that sample for me. So, we'll so break a piece for me. So, do you just want one just individual? Just one for now, yeah. So, so there we are, oh guys. Boy. The only problem is, folks, it's starting to melt. Yeah, but... that's it. So here I go. This looks really promising. And I can even smell the chocolate here. This looks mm -hmm. really fresh. Mm. B. Wilson 92 is loving that reaction there. It does smell like milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. With a hint of nuts. And the nuts and nugget, isn't it, as well? Delicious, guys. Just as I remember it. Toblerone, I've still got it. I will above them a 9 out of 10, guys. Love it. Wow. Very rich in chocolate. Very flavour. And the hints of nuts as well. Very, very delicious, guys. I think the only feedback yet for me is it is a little bit messy. Mm. So maybe. But with chocolate, it is to be expected, really. But nevertheless, maybe I should have kept it in a tin mm. foil, perhaps. So I'm going to be sampling my sample here, folks. So here we go, guys. Nice. Same tactic. I'll be breaking one small segment. And look at that, folks. You can actually see mm. pieces of the nugget so there. Which one do you have there? Which letter? Letter B. B for beta. Here we go, guys.
down the hatch. It's on now. So, let's have a look at all the different pieces that you have get, guys. So many different pieces of chocolate. For a pound, who would have thought? And the packaging is just on point as well. Oh boy, folks, I mean, the chocolate itself is very rich. It's basically milk chocolate, mm. as the packaging suggests, um, but fairly crunchy. Um, I'm going to award this 8 out of 10, folks. I think this is quite reasonable. Um, perhaps the nugget could have been enhanced a little bit. Mm -hmm. It does melt a little bit, but the milk chocolate is so strong. It is, yeah. It doesn't get much better than that for milk chocolate, guys. And I do like the mix of nugget and nuts, which could be enhanced a little bit, but it's so iconic, the packaging. And the value for money for a whole pound. This makes Kraft and Hershey's and Cadbury look like crap. This is iconic. Mm -hmm. um, first time I've sampled this, and I think it's quite a reasonable product Would here, folks. Would you try it again, Paul Terrell? Um... Perhaps if I encountered it, because what I normally do is myself, I always seek a new challenge, but I would certainly recommend this. Um, there are still improvements. The packaging could be mm -hmm. improved. Create the Alps in the background with the yellow background there. Perhaps enhance the nugget a little bit more. But overall, very reasonable product. V. Wilson 92, yeah. final thoughts. So to summarise it. A very strong performance there from Toblerone and if you come across this yourself guys give it a try for yourself because it's all about you and now I'm gonna have to wash my hands gotta dig deep peace out peace